episode 28, the last episode, we abstracted away the idea of columns so that we could loop through the columns instead of hard coding each different column that we wanted to display. The results ended up looking mostly like we had before. Today, we're going to take advantage of that abstraction and use it to toggle the different columns. Right now, to choose the columns that we display, we just take all the available columns and display all of them. Let's create another property, call it columns used, in which we'll list out the columns that we want to use. Then, instead of columns just being an alias for available columns, we'll replace it with another function. In this function, it goes through all the available columns and it filters it so it only uses the ones that are in columns used. It does this through calling contains on the columns used. Let's see it in action. There, we only have title and author. But that's not much good until we have a way for our user to select which columns they want to display. So let's add in an option for changing the columns. Here we're looping through all the available columns because we'll want to be able to select any of them. And then we're feeding it into a toggleable item component that we're about to make. In the last two options, we avoided using component because the things that we would use a component for were pretty simple and could be done just as easily with a sub expression. Here, as you will see soon, we gain lots of advantages by using a component. So we feed it in the columns used, our query param as toggled list, and we feed it in that specific column as toggleable item. The component is a button which displays the title of the toggleable item. It also, when you click the button, it triggers the toggle item action. And if the item is toggled, then it's bold. Otherwise, the text is muted. So let's dig in to the is toggled property and the toggle item action. Is toggled is computed property based off the property of the toggleable item passed in, as well as what's currently in the toggled list, which, if you remember, is the columns used array in this instance. And it sees if the columns used or toggled list contains the toggleable item. Then, toggle item, the action, checks to see if it is toggled, and if it is, it removes that object from the toggled list. And if it's not toggled, then it adds the object to the toggled list. So it, basically if it's not there, it adds it. If it is there, it removes it. This is the basic definition of toggling. It's just the implementation is slightly more complicated here. So now we can add and remove columns as we see fit. This is pretty powerful. And thanks to the power of query params, we can grab our columns, go to a new browser, paste in that URL, and it will be exactly like we left it. In an upcoming episode, we'll show how to sort the different columns in case you want to show them in a different order than they're given to you. I'll see you then.